I think it's a very rare privilege to be able to work in these areas. Certainly you get to see some, some absolutely magnificent country. I'm still finding areas that, uh, that I've never been to before that are uh, just absolutely amazing. The first time I got to go into these special areas, I was just amazed at their natural beauty. The creeks, the rivers and the vegetation across the area. I felt very fortunate to be in there. The special areas were created and declared to protect um, the catchments of, of the lakes. And so some of these are over 100 years old. They were declared in the late 1800s. And what that has resulted in is um, some magnificent areas of bushland that are still protected today. So these areas have had restricted access for a very long time. And what we found is that because of that restriction and access, the ecological integrity has been maintained and also that we get the best water quality from those areas. The special areas are jointly managed between us and the National Parks and Wildlife Service and we work together to try to ensure that we get the best outcomes for water quality and for the ecology of the area. So our special areas are divided into what we call Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 protection levels. Schedule 1 lands, that's where our highest level of protection is. It's the areas immediately surrounding our lakes and reservoirs and the public are not allowed to access those areas. And that's to protect that water supply. The Schedule 2 areas are further away from the lakes and reservoirs or next to areas that don't directly supply a drinking water source. And those areas we allow recreation within, but it's within a controlled range. I've worked here for many years. I've um, seen these areas uh, and how beautiful they are, how much work it takes to keep them as they are. And uh, when you find people coming in and littering, starting fires, you just get very, very upset. Well, we're very serious about protecting the catchments from illegal use. My role in that is to do targeted inspections with, um, with our surveillance data that we gather from our cameras and the likes. Uh, we also get intel from our surveillance reports when our officers patrol the catchments. So um, I gather that data and then I compile that together and uh, we act on it from there. So a lot of our special areas are in great condition, but there are impacts, historical and current, that we need to manage. That includes things like managing power lines and mines, controlling weeds and pests, managing our fire road system, also um, fighting bushfires and undertaking hazard reduction burns. Uh, the benefits of the fire towers is in early detection. Um, the fire tower operators are uh, extremely skilled at spotting fires. So they give the bearing and if you can get two bearings from separate fire towers then you get a very good understanding of exactly where the fire is and we can then send crews to that fire very quickly. I feel very privileged to be able to work in these areas and it's the reason that I um, am a catchment officer and have continued to be a catchment officer for many years. Probably one of the better jobs that I've, uh, I've ever had. Um, certainly you get to see some, some absolutely magnificent land and beautiful country. You fall in love with the place and that's the reason why you, you've got this protection mode instilled in you over time and any catchment person will tell you the same. It's like being at home.